Hi everyone, Pastor Nash from St. Paul in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Here today with another devotion from God's Word is we look at how the Bible talks about us praying to God for our, our country and for our leaders. Now, the passage I have today is from the New Testament from 1 Timothy chapter 2. And the idea here is it's it's so easy to have our prayers be limited. I suppose at, at the most narrow would be if, if you would if you or I would just pray for ourselves, you know, God give me what I need, be with me today. Those are good prayers to pray, but I hope you pray for more than just yourself. And I suppose the next layer would be the, the people who are nearest and dearest to you, your your family, your friends, maybe your congregation, the, the people that you, you love and care about that you see all the time. And that's good too, but this passage that, the, that Paul writes says, don't limit your prayers just to yourself or just the people close to you. He says, let your prayers be for all people. And then he names a group that I... I I don't know how often do you pray for all those who are in authority in, in our land or even even all, all around the world, that God would guide and bless those who have been given responsibility to lead. Uh, and Paul talks about the reason why, so that we can have peace and, and live live in peace as we preach the gospel about Jesus. And the, the big reason at the end is, is not just so that we can have a nice, peaceful life, it's so that more and more people would get to know Jesus, their Savior. Can we in the Christian church continue to preach the gospel, even if there's chaos and violence and everything's falling apart around us, well, yeah, we will. We'll, we'll do the best we can, but that's hard. And the more that society is a wreck, the harder it is for the Christian church to preach the gospel. And so Paul said, let's pray for all people, and especially with this in mind, uh, that as we have good leaders who lead our country, as we have peace around us, that this would be something that God would use to bless all people through the spread of the gospel in his church. So here's what Paul wrote in 1 Timothy chapter 2. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Paul says this is this is a good thing. This is the kind of thing that pleases our God when we come before him and pray on behalf of all people, including those that he's given to lead in this world. And so on this inauguration day, let's let's do exactly that. Let's let's come before our God in prayer, praying that God would bless all people, including our leaders, and that through them, God would bless the spread of the gospel in his church. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you with our prayers and intercessions, our thanksgiving on behalf of all people and especially on behalf of those who lead us here in the United States. As we have another inauguration day today, I pray for those you've given us, including our new president, President Biden. I pray that you'd bless all in authority, that you'd use their leadership for good in our country and around the world. I pray too for citizens everywhere in the United States, uh, that you'd give us peace, that you'd You'd, you'd give us uh, a prosperity and just your, your presence here in the United States that you'd, you'd guide and bless us so that uh, we'd be able to live our lives in, in quietness and peace. And as we proclaim the gospel here at St. Paul and Lake Mills, we'd be able to do that work and that we'd be able to reach out to people with the gospel. And the biggest goal, Lord, that we pray for is that you would save people through faith in Jesus. So we put all that in your hands today and ask you to guide and bless us. Amen. Go out today with the Lord's blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen.